Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panzo6 and today I want to talk about the newly released trailer for Battlefield 1. Now you guys may remember yesterday that I made a video about Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 5. I didn't know that Battlefield 1 was going to be the title, so I speculated. And today, some of the things I speculated came true. And that being, the Battlefield 1 game is actually going to be a World War 1 shooter. And oh my god, it looks amazing. Like, the horseback riding, the first, like, the fighter planes would do, like, the Red Baron and stuff like that. That looks amazing. And it just makes me really happy that, you know, it's going to be... I think it's going to be a little slower paced compared to the other shooters, like the Modern Warfare and stuff like that. And it makes me really happy because I love World War II video games and I've not really got to touch World War I games and... I'm getting sick and tired of all these modern warfare games. I'm getting tired of the futuristic warfare. I want <laughs> I want this. I want it so bad. I'm really, really hyped about it, and it's really cringy. But anyways, the horseback riding was really cool. Um, they, I guess there's going to be a campaign on it, and it looks great. It looks, it looks really good. I mean, DICE always does a really good job with their engine. Uh, Frostbite's always amazing for the most part. Um... And I think it's going to be really, really awesome. And, I mean, I've played uh, all the Battlefield games, even Hardline, which you can say what you want to say about Hardline. It's an okay game. It's Battlefield 4 with a Payday mod. That's what it reminds me of. It's like Payday plus Battlefield equals Hardline. The thing I'm most excited about is... They're gonna. They said it's gonna have a lot. Um, they're gonna go back to the basics, so it's gonna be land, air, sea. Um, so we'll have naval combat, uh, airplanes, old style Red Barons, airplanes, um, and just ground ground assault. If it's World War One, I'm thinking you're gonna have a lot of trenches, and looks like it's gonna have a lot of horseback riding and the old tanks and stuff like that. Oh man. I, I just wonder how it's going to work. I think it might be kind of slower paced. Maybe. I don't know. Um, they did say that there are going to be melee weapons and also machine guns, which I don't know too much about World War I. Um, I know they did have semi-automatic and machine guns at that time, so they, I, I know it's kind of new. I know the Gatling gun was a big thing then. Uh, there was like thousands of troops that got killed from the Gatling gun. Um, so we will probably see that. Um, I air superiority should be there. I'd be fine with that. I love air superiority, which I played the shit out of that on. I think it was Battlefield Four as well as um, Battlefield 1943. Uh, they didn't really have too much of that on uh, Bad Company or Battlefield Vietnam, which it just it's just it's just a breath of fresh air for shooters. And I know I'm. <laughs> I'm excited for it, and I, I hope you guys are too. Um, now, you can get into the beta by signing up for this. It's it's not EA Access. It's actually a uh, Insider. If you go to EA's website, you should be able to sign up for the Insider, and they say you can get um, special stuff before the game releases, like the beta, uh, and also other things. Now, I don't, I don't know if I'll pre-order it. I may... Because, oh my god, it looks amazing. And, I mean, <laughs> just the last scene where you, the guy's looking up and he sees the Zeppelin coming down. I want to be the guy that controls that Zeppelin. I want to rain down, like, bombs and shit on everybody. And, oh, man, man, man. I'm so excited for it. I'm pumped. Um, <laughs> it's actually the biggest surprise of this year so far for video games. That and That's my opinion. Um... And I like to see the trailer comparison between this game and Infinite Warfare. Because I know... <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that Battlefield 1 is going to have not as many dislikes as Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And this might be the year that Battlefield completely takes over Call of Duty. It might beat its cells. I hope so. I hope, I hope that people get onto this game. Because this is going to be something I'll be playing non-stop. Um, it'd be kind of cool, like, since Battlefield 1, maybe, like, they could do Battlefield 
World War II, another one. I, I God, I love it. Maybe like set some expansion packs like World War II. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking out of my head at this point. But guys, I thank you so much for stopping by and watching this, and uh, I hope you're excited about it as I am because, like I said, it looks fucking amazing and. Dice always does a pretty good job for the most part. I know they kind of fucked up with Battlefield 4 for the for for a little bit. And you know what? Star Wars Battlefront's not a bad game. I know a lot of people say, "Oh, it's terrible." It's not. It's not terrible. So I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments as well. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. But wait, there's one more thing I want to talk about, and you guys know it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it for a while. That way. You know, but anyways, bits and pieces is a project I'm working on currently, and it's a game store that also helps out people with anxiety disorders. And you know, I'm really, really excited. I just, I'm really passionate about it. I want it to work out. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, it's www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Now, I'm not saying you have to donate, but if you do, I definitely will appreciate it. And also, if you wouldn't care, just share it on Facebook, Twitter. Just help me get the word out on it. I'd love for this to work because, A, it's going to help out the gaming community as well as people that really, really need help. As somebody that's went through um, depression and takes pills and almost did the suicide thing, it's going to help out. I, I want to be sure to help everybody out. But, guys, thank you so much again. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you later this week.